What is going on? It is Echo and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new city texture pack which 4 Dish Studios gave me early access to so massive thanks to them. I'm going to be giving you my full opinions, I'm going to be showing you all the blocks, I'm pretty much showing you all the mobs that are available so hopefully you will enjoy this. Now first things first, you can see on the right hand side it says city texture pack, a creative texture set Ideal for building structures, the perfect set for the focus builder. So a few builders out there, I want to see some awesome designs because I would love to review them. So let's get into this and this is my first time checking out this texture pack. So you will see me being very surprised. Now the load up screen in the background is of what the trailer we've seen yesterday. It is the future Dundee waterfront that Footage Studios did tell us about where the V&A creative um, international arts design building will be and it does look very very awesome so for people who are asking for that download I don't think we will but hey let's get into this now I will fully enjoy this texture pack and um, when I did see it I was very surprised that they were even building a creative um, or a, a building styled texture pack I just thought that they were focused on like the cartoon style that isn't the case uh, and a lot of builders are very happy about this um, so first thing I noticed when joining was the chests. I can see that they have been changed, but they look so awesome. They look like a secret chest, and I cannot wait for title update 14 future um, additions to be added as well, because I want to know what they look like in all the texture packs. So we're going to go over these first, and I believe it's going to be night time, um, so we might have to sleep in between this uh, episode or this video, should I say. And we have a sheep. You can't get in the boat, sheep. Go away. Um, but Fudgy Studios have fully retextured the mobs. If you've seen the screenshot they showed us the other day, uh, the creeper was changed. We've seen an iron golem in a very, very nice suit, which looked very, very funny. Uh, but we're just going to sleep real quick. Come on. Hurry up. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're going to just check out the blocks. I want to make sure you guys can see it in great detail anyway. And you're eating away my grass. Go away, you peasant. Um, so here we have the ores, we have the coal, we have the diamond, sorry, not the ores, we have the finished product of the ores. We have the coal, diamond, iron, gold, brick, never brick, flint, leather, gunpowder, which looks like poop in a pan. <laughs> we have the glowstone, glowstone dust, which looks like gold dust in a pan, uh, and all the rest of them as well. I like the egg as well. It, it's kind of a, when I checked this out and I first seen the, um, the grass, it's kind of very similar to the natural texture pack in my opinion, um, with the, the grass and stuff, they look very, very similar. Obviously the blocks have changed and they always will change them. They're not going to reproduce the same texture pack, but in here we have the food, we have the apple, the golden apple, melon, mushroom stew. I like the bread, I like the way it's like a sliced loaf, uh, I like what they did there. Is this a cake? It's a cake! It is! Look at the cake! Although that looks very poisonous, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's very harmless indeed. Uh, that looked awesome, I have to admit. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a natural style, realistic, and a builder's one. Um, which I feel is going to be... This is definitely going to be one of my favourite ones. I can see it already. A bottle of enchantment looks like... I don't know what that is. It looks like a jug. Glass bottle. Water bottle. Swiftness. Uh, books. The books don't really look like books in my opinion. But oh well. Fire charges. Shears. Uh, compass the map. I have a map here already. They have changed it a little bit They've changed the colors as well, which uh, it does look a lot easier in my opinion You can see it in greater detail and um, this is the bow and arrow they, They've changed the arrow uh, the bows, but nothing too complicated Let's place these back in here It would have landed on me and would have killed me. Okay. I'll pick that up uh, in Here we have the armor. So I was getting confused then we have the diamond one. We're gonna put this on first we have the diamond one. He's all suited and booted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't see my guy's eyes. Oh, yeah, you can. He's like, hello. I like that. I like that. It's like a suit. Place this back in here. There we go. Let's place this back in here. I don't want to get confused. Oh, my God. Is this a... It's a tux. It's a tux. Oh, my God. Look at the leather armor. It's a tux. My guy has glasses on his nose and on his face, but not really on his eyes. Oh, my God. That is awesome. That is just like customized any any custom uh, skin you can change and have him wear a tux. I like that. I think that's a great addition. I keep forgetting to take them off. Let's place them back in here. Uh, what else do we have? This is like a leather jacket. Is it a leather jacket? 
I don't know what... Where's the head thing gone for? Wait, what is it? Chain? I need the chain helmet. Where's the chain? There we go. Is it like a biker dude? It's like a biker dude. It is. Haha, <laughs> it's like a leather jacket. I'm liking these um these armors. I think they've they've done a well good job on them. They have con they've changed everything. So let's take check out the tools. I won't check them all out because they're all basically the same. But we have the sword, which is very thin. Oops, I just broke a sign. I'm breaking things. God damn it, Echo. Uh, we have a shovel. Shovel in a way. We have a pickaxe, a axe, and we have the hoe. I keep breaking things. God damn it, Echo. Alright, that'll do. I'm going to place these back in here. Oh, no. Okay, I guess I have to keep them on me for now. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to have to place as many as I can in these. Let's see what I do when I mess around. God damn it, Echo. Place them in there. Uh, hopefully, I have enough room. I don't want to keep these things on me because I want to show you. Oh, we got them. You know what? We're going to have to make a new chest. In fact, while we're here, I'm just going to go quickly through the blocks before we do check them out. Um, so, hopefully you guys like the interface as well, what they've used, the colors in the background, the hotbar as well. They're easy to understand, and I can see this definitely being one of my favorite texture packs of all time. There's quite a few available, and I know, I know, and I know for you PlayStation 3 users, uh, it is very disheartening to see your rival console having these over you. But sooner or later, they will all be available. Forge Studios have said themselves. Um, so try not to worry too much. I know it is frustrating, but bear with us for a little bit of time. But I'm going to have to make a new chest. And there we go. Let's just place these all in here. Item frame. Let me take a quick look at what an item frame looks like. Item frame and an item frame. Okay. Nothing too exciting. But yeah, let's get onto the blocks and... <laughs> Let's stop messing around. <laughs> I get I get so distracted all the time. And um, but the lava as well. I like the I like the lava. I mean lava you can't really do too much. Oh my god, is that a wolf? Hey doggy. Hey doggy. Oh my god, we have to get I have to get bones. I have to tame him. I like the bones as well. I'm gonna tame you. Yay! Oh my god, it was pink love hearts. Twerking, we have a twerking dog. Okay, now I have a best friend while we do this. <laughs> Sorry I got confused, but we have the lava here. I believe this is glowstone. I am not 100% so sure. I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's glowstone. Shall we check? We're gonna check. Where's glowstone? Where are you hiding, Mr. Glowstone? No, we're not gonna get distracted. Um, we have the coal ore, lapis azui, diamond ore, redstone ore, iron ore, and gold ore. Now, the thing I like about these is they haven't changed them too much, so when you are mining, you'll easily be able to tell which is which, which is what I fully enjoy. Uh, we have the um, wooden stairs. You can see the texture they've gone for. I like this one a lot, though. I really do. I like that a lot. I like I like all of them, in fact. I think they've done a great job on uh, retexturing a lot of the blocks, and especially the wood and the stone blocks. Just sit there for now there. I'm going to call you Howard. You can stay there, Mr. Howard. Um, but obviously we have the chest here, which I did enjoy anyway. The crafting bench, which has a saw and a drill on it. Uh, what else does it have on the top? It has like a crafting menu. I like that as well. And a spanner. This is a furnace. It looks like an angry face though. It looks like eye, eye, nose, and an angry mouth. It, uh, that could be possible. <laughs> uh, and I do like the enchantment table as well. I really do. And I love the interfaces a lot. I think they've done a great, great job. Um, we have the glass here, the glass plane. All of the trees. I like this as well. It's obviously from the Never. Uh, what's this? I can't really tell what they are. They the, these are the wool. I think these are the walls. I think this is a diamond block, lapis azui, iron, gold. And I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, obsidian, maybe. We have the brick, and I can see that these. Yes, it's wool. Orange wool. Yeah, these are the walls. So you can see that they've changed the wool to look kind of very similar to the um, the blocks themselves. So you can use them to build. This is the cauldron. I like the vibrant colors used on the cauldron. Uh, the bed, which you've already slept in. Sorry, I had to I had to get inside that. Uh, but we're going to place down some of the things as well. Just want to make sure what I was checking. Obsidian, nether brick, nether rack. Um, let's check some of the wood. In fact, let's check out some of, as much as we can, really. Let's check the obsidian. I like the obsidian. It kind of looks like the portal that you would jump through for the... Um, what portal is it? Is it the, the end? It kind of looks like the end portal that you jump in. I like that as well. Easy to spot. You have no issues with that. We have the never brick, which we did see. The never rack, which I do like a lot. Birch wood, spruce wood, oak wood, 
and jungle wood planks. Hmm, they're looking very adventurous. Um, so yeah, I am enjoying this a lot. I mean, whenever I do check a, t a texture pack, like I say, as long as you can fully understand what they look like, you should have no problems at all. And you can see what I mean. This is wool, uh, black wool. You can use this for the flooring. We have more as well, which you can use for building design. So I like the way 4D Studios do change the texture pack walls to fit the surroundings of, of the building. For Obviously, this is for a city texture pack. So I want to see some awesome builds from you guys. I really, really do. I'm sure you guys have the potential to do that. What's going on fire there? God, causing fire. Uh, just want to check out some of the other things as well. I'm just quickly scrolling through to take a quick look and there's poop poop in it and a pan and then some vibrant poop in a pan Rose red we have the food sauces all of these we've seen anyway, and they look they're looking awesome as well I'm not gonna lie. They really do look very vibrant and um, we're gonna make before we do start to check out the mobs over here I'm gonna make a um both portals to show you what the portals look like. So I need to grab a enchanting. I need to grab I have the ender. So let's do this. I'm gonna quickly make one of these. Let's make sure I get it right this time. I always forget how high it is. And that's right. Go there. Go there. Go there. Um, we need to make this as well. Make sure I get this perfect. Oops. One. Oops. Wrong thing. You can't. Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I need to find it. Where's it gone? End portal frame. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's make sure I get them all the right way. One, two, three. Oops, I want to get out of here because I don't really want to travel there just yet. Oh, I wonder if they've changed the ender dragon. We will save that towards the end of the video just to keep you guys entertained. Let's try and find find or find the flint and steel there we go easy to spot have they changed it they have they have changed it it's kind of futuristic again i love i love the um the way they changed them we will visit both of them towards the end but for now but before it goes to night time again i want to get some mobs and check oh my god that they've changed the chicken to actually look like a duck he's dropping eggs you pooping eggs i want to take a look at him get out of there he is it's a duck I like the way they've done that. They've changed it. It's like, is it a duck or is it a chicken? We're going to have some in here. Let's spawn some of these. Let's take a look. Um, so first off, we have a cave spider. I want to get in there with you guys to take a look at what they look like. Oh, wow. It looks like... How awesome are the colors in that? Now, I do feel that the cave spider is definitely... Oh, look at them. They're interacting. He's like, hello. Why am I in here? Um, yeah, I do believe that they changed the cave spider. Definitely one of the best abilities. Uh, what else do we have? An enderman? Come here, Mr. Enderman. This is smart. I'm going to have to sleep again, just quickly. I know uh, the, the zombies will probably die, um, but bad. I'd rather them die and let me... Oh, hello there, Howard. He's... Oh, he's got a sad face. He looks sad there. Okay. Where's the enderman gone? I'm going to spawn another one. He looks very smart as well, very, very well dressed. Okay then, see you later. We have a zombie pigman, which, God, they, those things scare me so, so much. We have a geist, I'm not going to spawn them. We have a slime. Hello, Mr. Slime. We have a zombie. Look at the zombie, this is what we, oh no, he's going to die. I'm going to have to spawn one underneath a bush. I'm going to quickly spawn you here. This is what we've seen in the screenshot. I'm sorry I had to just poke you. Um, we have a spider. Wow. Do you have a hairy back? He has a hairy back spider. A skeleton, which is going to die as well. I'm going to have to spawn these underneath here. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. We have a creeper. Look at him. Look how smart the creeper is. He's like, yes, would I, would you like, what would you like from me? Uh, let's place all of these back in here. Grab all of these. I'll grab them as well. Um, we have a silverfish. They, they, they make me laugh so much. It kind of looks like a caterpillar, but a fat caterpillar. Um, we have a blaze. I'm going to spawn you over here because you cause trouble all the time. Bye bye, blaze. A magma cube. Piggy. Oh, look, we have a spot. Oh, look at his eye. He has a patch on his eye. Piggy, piggy. Hello, Mr. Piggy. We have a sheep, which you did see before. Not really much change there. A cow. Oh my god, look at your eyes. Hello. 
so serious, Mr. Cow. We have chicken, which is definitely a duck. I love how they've done that, and he's firing things at me and causing fires. Spawn a squiddy in his natural habitat. I could spawn him here. He's red, or pinky red, or different colored red. He's just not normal. And we have a wolf as well, which you've all seen before. Uh, last three here. Which one do we have? We have an ocelot, the cat. Oh my god, they look like baby tigers. Wait, don't they have different? Oh, I want to know what they look like tamed. We have a villager, but sooner or later we will have different type of... There's your home over there, Mr. Villager. And a mushroom. Very impressive. See, that is the full potential shown in this texture pack, guys. I want to take a quick look at the structure that they have used. And we will visit to see if the ender dragon has changed. You can see that this is used with jungle wood. Over here, we can make an iron golem. Which is, look at him. He, is he a security guard? I think he is. He is. That's what he is. He's a security guard. So that is the iron golem. He looks at, we're going to place this on here as well for a snow golem. And they, whoa. He's wearing a high vis. He's wearing a high visible jacket. They're, all, they're both on patrol. So they've kind of made them the security ones. That is awesome. I love this texture pack so, so much. And I'm hoping to live stream it all for you tonight. Um, but I'm going to be checking. I'm not going to go to the nether. I'll let you guys keep that a secret. But we will check out the ender dragon to see if he has changed in the end. Uh, so straight away, I love the color that they've used. Let's see if he's changed. He has changed. They've changed him. Oh, wow. I'll wait for, I'll wait for him to come down here. And you can see that the, the bar that you would normally kill him with has changed as well. I'll wait for him to come over here. In fact, I'm going to have to knock one of these down. Make him very, very angry. And he's firing charges at me. I want to see what the ender acid looks like as well. Quickly destroy these. Right, he's down there. Gonna get one last look here at him. Wow, look at him. He's like metal. He is literally like a metal ender dragon. That is impressive. I am fully, I have fully enjoyed reviewing this texture pack, and I'm it looks it looks kind of like a duck. But a massive thanks to Body Studios who did provide me with the code. I mean, great company. I am loving the fact that I can show you this, guys. We do look forward to live stream later on tonight. Apart from that, I am Echo, as you all know me. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.